Uh, welcome again uh, to the new viewers uh, and also to the old viewers. Uh, here is some knowledgeable lesson and uh, the geometric surveying uh, question that is question, that is the first question that was done under surveying uh, neck 2023 july series uh, this question was a little bit challenging but if you sat and had a thought you can get or you could have gotten a concept so i went ahead and did uh, a little thinking to what the examiners were asking for and i got the right thing so this is the first question under the geometry uh for the learners of building module two a uh, module three uh, done and a diploma in civil and building technology uh, there we have been provided a table uh instrument p uh, we have been given the heights and the radius levels of the stations and then we have targets on the same place but by different vertical angles and then we have been given only the mid readings of those targets so the instrument was at p and our targets were at q so that is the same position uh, if uh, we are, were using a staff the staff did not move anywhere uh, let's go directly to the solution I've illustrated that data there uh, from P to Q where our stuff was held. Uh, we had our middle readings and uh, by remember so there we have V vertical distance uh, H uh, that is the mid uh, reading X distance that is the distance to V the additional distance then we have D the horizontal distance uh, we have been told to calculate the length p q that is the horizontal distance d yeah so they are also i have written so v is equals to h plus x h that is the mid distance x that is the distance that is remaining us to complete the full vertical distance uh, by using properties of a right angle triangle uh, remembering so we have been given two angles there uh, targeted on the same station I'm taking my V so by the use of properties of a right angle so we have our 90 degrees the yeah yeah that is the our 90 degrees from there so our d will become the hypotenuse our l will become the adjacent adjacent then our o will become the vertical distance so our o that is the opposite sides of our theta uh, by the use of socato uh, the sine rule uh, uh, provides to us a better clear solution so that will be sine 0 45 30 is equals to uh, distance v and our first distance v that is 4.68 that is the mid distance plus x our known distance over d that is the horizontal distance that we need to calculate so d that is the hypotenuse uh, by cross multiplication there we'll have uh, our first equation as 0 0.01324d is equal to 4.680 plus x and then we'll do the same to our second uh, part where sin 0 26 30 
will be equal to 2.09 plus x that is our v the opposite side over d that is the hypotenuse uh, using cross multiplication i uh, will have gotten our second equation a uh, comparison of both two equations uh, by either the simultaneous equation uh, we can compare those two uh, because our information we have data given to us which has two unknowns so by moving x to the opposite sides there we have a subtraction and the second remember so uh, in places where i have same sign we subtract uh, by subtracting our d uh, we get our answer 0 0.0 1 2 4 6 9 d our x is disappeared because uh, minus x minus minus x there we have a zero so here we minus 4.68 minus 2.090 getting our answers 2.59 so by dividing what we had on the other side our d that is the horizontal design becomes 207.72 meters uh, that question was that simple uh, just a little bit thought and all uh, becomes well